basically I uh, expressed my own intentions to come forward and if there are contra opinions and various other interested uh, personnel who are keen on becoming the candidate to follow the uh, democratic procedures within the party to go ahead and select, make the selection. In other words, uh, I uh, requested that uh, there be uh, an immediate meeting of both the parliamentary group and the working group. So you will make any decision taken by the working committee and the parliament? Yes, of course. That's the, that's the uh, democratic way to work. The democratic process within the party, do you mean there should be a vote within the so party or a discussion? Let me explain to you. Um, the meeting of both the group and the working committee, um, you know, it can be a consensus building meeting. So if we arrive at a consensus, uh, there is uh, no necessity to do anything else or to resort to any other procedure. Uh, all I'm saying is let there be frank and transparent discussion within the working committee and the parliamentary group and uh, you know then uh, all of us will be able to ascertain the, the plethora of opinions among the members of the working committee and the group and uh, if there is consensus so be it but if there are uh, a diversity of uh, opinions uh, you can adopt the, the greatest democratic uh, principle and model that is uh, to have a democratic vote. With a consensus of the working committee and the parliamentary group. But at the same time, you have declared that you are the candidate. So, does it mean that you are willing to compromise on your own stand? No, I am actually uh, reflecting the aspirations of the people as a whole. Uh, there have been a large number of uh, common uh, men and women who have uh, requested me to come forward. So I am, uh, you know, uh, gracious enough to admit that if there are candidates, more candidates, uh, who are keen on coming forward, so I can't have my own way. And I must uh, explain to you this is, this is not a political monopoly or a political oligarchy. And, and there is uh, no autocracy and dictatorship uh, within our party. So, just because I want to become the candidate, uh, I can't have my own way uh, by myself. If there are uh, people uh, or personnel uh, who are keen on uh, putting forth their name for the candidature, so be it. Uh, we'll go for a, uh, a secret ballot, uh, a democratic uh, vote will be taken. And we shall abide by the uh, the, the results. Oh, man. 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 I am saying that you are not the same as the other people. You are 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 the same as the other Janadi Pati Varna, there are a picture of Prakash and Pakma. Janadi Karuna, I 
ඕනෑම කෙනෙකුට ජනාධිපති අපේක්ෂක ඇය හැටියට ඉදිරිපත් වෙන්න ඉර කඩක් තියෙනවා. ඇමරිකා එක්සත් ජනපදයේ මේ වෙනකොට ඊළඟ ජනාධිපතිවරණය සඳහා ඩෙමොක්‍රටික් පක්ෂෙන් විතරක් අපේක්ෂකෙන් දහ දෙනෙක් ඉදිරිපත් වෙනවා. මෑතකදී අපි දැක්කා ඉන්ගලන්තේ ටෙරිසා මේ අගමැතිවරිය ඉල්ලාස් වෙනකොට ඒ පක්ෂයේ අපේක්ෂකයන් දහ දොළොස් දෙනෙක් ඉදිරිපත් වුණා. ඉතින් මේක අර්බුදයක් නෙමෙයි. ඇත්ත වශයෙන්ම මේක प्रजातंत्रवादी पक्षेक शक्ति अर्बुदे मंडल in fact uh, with the launch of the enterprise sri lanka program in jaffna uh, we had uh, an opportunity to meet up and exchange ideas so um, there was no such meeting as far as i was concerned of myself meeting t and we have spoken and discussed uh, a gamut of issues and uh, it's not an extraordinary event sambandhana ka sadan karwa dibuna obutuma janadipatunat agamathwara ayidiya karanil punna nato karano ni kala e kiyama obutuma sadan karwa dibuna जनाधिपतिम जनाधिपति जनाधिपति About continuing the presidency, how long do you think this executive presidency will be continued? Well, I don't think there has been a scientific survey done as to the necessity to have, uh, you know, what to do with the presidency, whether it should be kept and maintained or whether it should be abolished. But at the end of the day, I'm always willing to listen to the people of the country. So, if the people of the country so decides, uh, I'm there, you know. So no, uh, that's, that's right at this wishy washy. That's why they're here, not there. No, it may sound wishy washy to you. I'm sorry, it may sound wishy washy to you. It sounds very coherent to me, right? 
uh, to pitch their opinions, to uh, declare and pronounce their stance. And we will uh, take into consideration the gamut of opinions and we shall formulate our program according. So you, you don't see uh, the mandate given in 2002 and uh, since 2004, uh, uh, after the mandate was given by the mandate of the government, you don't see that as a uh, mandate to move the power? Well, if I may say so, uh, mandates actually get outdated. We have to live with the times and we have to look at the existing contextual situation and act according. And the best way to formulate policy, to initiate policy, is by consulting the widest possible <laughs> spectrum of opinions. I think that's very democratic. And oh, minister, minister, with all due respect, we will, not, I, I, I mean. we will not take decisions in a closeted cupboard. I think whatever happened in 2015 um, as a country and locally and internationally, everything has moved on. The social context, the economic context, the political context, it's not a static situation. It's ever changing. So we have to act according to the times and we shall have the widest possible consultations with regard to not only the executive presidency, in terms of economic policy, social policy, um, trade policy, there are a whole series of issues that have to be uh, uh, sorted out. Yeah, President's uh, term is five years. So, uh, how long are you uh, planning to reach your term now? You say that you are looking for. First thing is first, we will concentrate on the candidature. ดังนั้นก็ต้องเรียนการเรียนเฉพาะหน้าปกติแต่ก็ต้องสามารถจะเรียนมีหน้าจานันก็จะเรียนแต่ไม่ได้ละบ้างกันบิลล์ขันธ
both internally and externally. And uh, these internal and external activities have had its uh, impact, beneficial and detrimental, in uh, the Sri Lankan society. And it has uh, uh, kind of promoted change. So the contextual uh, situation has changed. And uh, we as a party and as a front, we promote uh, modernization. Uh, we do not uh, base uh, our policies and proposals uh, on archaic context. So we, have, we look at the present situation, uh, learn from the lessons of the past, and ensure that we have a progressive administration uh, that uh, upholds and promotes uh, basic human rights, basic human needs, needs and promotes uh, economic growth and prosperity. Minister, sorry, you said one of the changes is the drastic reduction of the presidential powers since 2015 and you say it's path breaking. You are the young, youngest contender from your party for the post of presidency. Why do you want an office that is so weak? Well, uh, this is the first test, democratic test, litmus test that is uh, uh, that we all have to face as a country. And uh, this is a question about the future of the people and the future of this democracy. We cannot let this country uh, move once again into a situation of political monopoly, uh, political oligarchy and political dictatorship. So we have to save our motherland uh, from dictatorship. So that is the prime motivation for my candidacy to ensure that we have a peaceful, prosperous, united Sri Lanka where all citizens live in friendship and brotherhood. Well, and we, uh, the, the <coughs> we have uh, cabinet in 15 minutes. So if we like, we can take one more question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can, can we can we go back to... Uh, just, just, just for the... But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, I'm talking LPT or Palisabha Matuar. I'm talking about the LPT or ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು <laughs> 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 ಪ್ರಜಾತಂತ್ರವಾದಿ ವಾಮೂಲ ಗತ ಹಿ ಉಪರಿಮತಿ